Okay, so good morning. Today we will discuss about how to input data sa star. So maririnig nyo po yung mga background audio. <laughs> well, I am doing this in the house. Okay, so ang una nating gagawin is Okay, I will share first my screen. Yan. So, um, close muna natin yan. So, first is we open the star application. And once you have installed it, and then you open the application sa desktop. And medyo may iba lang talaga na naglalag. Or hindi, um, hindi siya agad-agad na nag-open. So, probably because um, sa unit. Ayan. So, paano mag-input using sa star? So, mayroong dalawang paraan akong alam na i-share ko sa inyo. So, first is you click data and then just double click this one. Sample CSV. Ayan. Or this sample CSV one. Ayan. Um, earlier, nag-edit ako. So, ito na yung mga na-edit. So, this, you can edit this control. So, say that would be our P sub O. Then, ating P1. P2. P3. Or, pwede mong Ilagay din dito talaga yung, yung mismong treatment. So, in our case, dito sa ating example, ang example natin will be this one. So, we have um, light treatment with L1, L2, L3, 5100 PPS and 150, and then control. So, pwede natin yung edit to control, and then this will be 50 PPS as L1. Then, 100 PPS and 50 PPS. And then, again, control. Can we copy-paste this one? Let's try. Kung kaya. Ah, so, hindi. So, you have to manually input. So, 50 PPS, 100 PPS, 150 PPS. Then, control. 50 ppl, 100 ppl, then 150 ppl. PPS. Photosynthetic photon clock. So, pwede kang mag-add ng insert ng rows dito. Just press this green, green insert row. Ayan, insert row. Ayan, okay. Uh, then, another insert again. Pwede mas madami yung insert mo. Just press shift and then arrow down. Shift, arrow down or arrow up. Ayan. Arrow down. So, let's see. Then, press this green. Ayan, insert row. Pag ito namang isa, ayan, insert column naman ito. Isa. So, insert column. Dapat mag-select ka muna ng column dito. So, say, mag-insert tayo dito ng column. So, ayan, insert column. Before X1. Ngayon, pangalanan natin ito, si ito ay yield. Dot gram. Ayan. Ayan. So, nakapag-insert na tayo ng row and then we have column. So, sa ating example, meron lamang tayong um, tatlong, tatlong replication na napat na treatment. So, yung ibang columns dito ay hindi natin kailangan. So, Itong replication 1, so replication 1 ng control, ng 50, ng 100, ng 150, replication 2, and then we have replication 3, ito lang pa tayo, another 150 PPS. So, replication 3. So, paano natin ito dito? Just shift, down, then itong red naman for delete row. Then, ito na naman. Delete natin itong column na to. So, we have itong red naman. Want to delete? Pwede kang mag-delete ng multiple columns. So, pwede mong i-select yan. Pwede shift and then select. In this case, we'll just delete itong X1. So, yes. Ayan. 
So, manual natin na ilalagay dito yung ating data. So, let's see. Let's see. Manual. I-import yung data. And, so, yield ang um, R1. So, ito yung R1, R2, R3. So, ba lang. 11.7. 7.2. 'yan. Kahit maingay tuloy-tuloy pa din. Make sure tama yung nakapi na data kasi ito ay very critical sa analysis. Then, indication na, na na-save is mawawala itong asterisk dito sa taas. So, you're going to save this. Save. Save changes. 